Hey guys, welcome to another Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to Sonic. Uh, they've got a couple of new items that I haven't had yet. And there's a big truck coming out of the wrong way. So he's blocking the whole thing. So I'll wait a minute until he gets out of the way. But then uh, I'm going to go. I've already ordered it online through the app. So I'll uh, go over there and I think you check in at the little uh, kiosk over there. But I'm going to wait until some of that clears out because it's a mess over there right now. Anyway, I'll, I'll be back once uh, once I get everything set up. I'm going to show you. I haven't checked in yet, but there's a stall number right, uh, right there. It focused on my finger. So when I check in, I'll enter that stall number and they'll bring it out. How you doing? Hello. Thank you. Okay, so here is what I ordered. I ordered one of the rainbow slushies, which it kind of looks like it didn't quite go rainbow the way they hoped. But anyway, that's the rainbow slushy. I got a smash burger and I got a groovy fries with groovy. I think what makes them groovy is you get the groovy sauce. So I got an order of that. Um, I'll explain why these fries are kind of tiny. Um, I'm gonna dump them out so you can see um, what size they are. They're very, they're very tiny. I mean, this is my hand holding them. That's like a kid size fry. The reason they're they're like that is um, when I ordered the the burger, the smash burger, it said I could get a free um, order of groovy fries, and I said sure. You know, they're free. I was already gonna order them anyway. Might as well get the free ones, right? Now I know why they were free. They're tiny. Um, you get a, a kid's order basically. So if I'd ordered them regular, they would have been um, a bigger size. So that must be their small. So anyway, I'm gonna get turned around. I'll tell you prices and stuff and um, in just a second. All right, hopefully this is a good good lighting. Um, the slush rainbow medium was $2.99. The Sonic Smasher or Cheeseburger, which is a two patty burger, um, it was $6.69. And the sauce of course was free. And the small groovy fries, it was $2.39, but like I said, I got them for free. They took it off. Um, if that is their small, I can't imagine ever ordering a small because that is like teeny tiny little small uh, order of fries. So it's crazy. Um, so let me read what the burger is. It's a new Sonic Smasher. It has two Angus beef seasoned patties, smashed and seared crispy on the edges and juicy in the middle. Um, it's then layered with two slices of melty American cheese, a creamy tangy smasher sauce, crinkle cut pickles, diced onions, and served on a pillowy soft potato bun. Hmm. Um, the rainbow slush is a rainbow inspired slushy with rain blue raspberry, real strawberries, and lemonade flavor that's as flavorful as it is colorful and available in medium size only. That's the only size you can get it in. And the groovy size, it just say, basically says it's um, fries with a uh, a gro new groovy sauce for dipping. So that's what I'm gonna try first. I'm gonna try the groovy sauce. I have no clue what the groovy sauce is supposed to be. Let me get this bag out of the way. Open it up so I can throw my gobbles in it. All right, so groovy sauce. What's well, groovy sauce? I like their blue, that's cool. Okay, it kind of looks, uh, it's kind of orange. It smells like ranch. I don't know if you, that's so bright. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. It's kind of an orange color, but it smells like just, it smells like ranch. Let me try it with the fries. That's what you're supposed to dip it in. Mm, there's a little kick to it. I think it is ranch, but it's got some heat to it. Like I put a hot sauce in there. Mm. I wonder if the fries are different than their regular fries. It says fried thin and golden brown with grooves designed for dipping. So maybe these are a little smaller. The fries themselves are a little smaller than their traditional fries. I don't know. It's been a while since I ordered their fries. Yeah, this sauce is definitely ranch, but it's got a kick of like a, either a hot sauce, a, um, a red hot sauce, a sriracha, something like that is in there. You don't get the taste of the hot sauce. You really just get the taste of the ranch, um, which is really nice. I like ranch. I've always liked dipping my fries in stuff anyway, whether it be ketchup, uh, sweet and sour sauce from McDonald's, whatever. I've always enjoyed dipping my fries. So I like it that they got something to dip it in. That would also be really good in a um, 
on a burger. I think a good burger sauce. People walking behind me. So those are good. I like those. Those are, those are good good fries. They're good and crunchy. Um, and then um, I think they're getting on this bus maybe. But anyway, they're really good fries. And I do like the sauce. Just know that it's got a little bit of kick to it. It's not like burn you up um, completely hot. But it does it does have a little bit of a, a spice to it. So uh, if you don't like spicy food at all, you probably wouldn't want to get it. But um, if you're okay with a little spice, I think you'd be fine. Um, here's the smash burger. It does have pickles. Um, I see the onions and the. I wonder if that's that groovy sauce. It says a smashy sauce or a smasher sauce or something like that on it. I dropped an onion. Can I clean that up? Um, yeah, it's got the same color of sauce on it, but they called it something different. So maybe it's not the same sauce. But very, very thin hamburger patties. But you can see how thick they are. They're very, very thin. So here we go. We're, we'll just go in. It's very greasy on the bottom, too, which I kind of like a greasy burger. My hands are shiny. I tell you what, I like the texture of the burger itself. It's kind of, um, it's kind of loose. So um, I know that sounds awful, but it's kind of a, you know, some of the hamburger patties you get from restaurants, they're really, they've been uh, smashed together and, and formed in a machine that really compresses them and really packs them in together. So when you bite into them, they're really, uh, kind of dense when you eat a regular burger. Um, these are kind of loose. You can tell they're actually, uh, my guess is, they're usually, smash burgers are usually uh, come into a, at a ball when they're fresh and they put them on the grill and they smash them with a spatula of some kind. Um, that would be my guess of why these are kind of a looser texture, which I like, I like that texture. You get the taste of the pickles. Um, I like their bread, super soft. Trying to get a bite that doesn't have pickles. They, they, the pickles are very strong pickle. I'm gonna just gonna pull it off. Um, I like pickles, but I want to take a bite that doesn't have pickles, so I, it's not all pickly. I like the onions. I really taste the cheese and I get the texture of that creamy cheese on there too. Um, I like this burger, it's really nice. It's, uh, I don't know what the sauce is, but I really don't taste a lot of the sauce. I wonder what those taste like with this, with the groovy sauce. Um, I really don't taste the sauce. I really get more of the, the cheese and the burger and the onions more than anything. That's really good with that groovy sauce. It adds that um, a little kick of heat to it, but it has that really nice creamy like ranch flavor. I really like that with the groovy. I'd probably eat that. Um, like I said, you get that little kick of heat back in the back of your throat. Um, I really like this. I have to put this down so I can try my drink, but that's really good. You will get grease like all over your hands though, because it's very, it's a greasier burger than, um, than other burgers are. So just know that it cleans up pretty good. It's not like it's, my hands aren't really oily, uh, greasy, and slick, uh, but they're, they will get greasy. The box is even greasy, <laughs> so there you go. All right, let's try this um, rainbow. You can see the rainbow colors. Uh, you can kind of see them in there. Um, I don't want to stir it, though. The bad thing about the slush is you can't really drink them fast because your head will explode. I'm going down to the very bottom where the lemonade is. It's nice. Hmm. That's got a chunk of strawberry. There's actually strawberries like on the top. And they must be mixed in. Yeah, they're in, they're all in the bottom. Um, I like the lemonade flavor. Let's see if I can get over to the side where the blue is. The blue raspberry is more purple looking. Ooh, that's a really nice blue raspberry. I like that. trying to take little small sips. Uh, I like the blue raspberry. Let me see if I can get the strawberry. Hmm. 
nice strawberry flavor. The strawberry actually is the lightest flavor of the bunch, which is surprising. It's nice. They could have left the little hunks of strawberries out completely and I would have been fine with it. But they do add a little bit of, uh, I don't know, I just like the icy texture of a slush. I don't uh, necessarily need the, the hunks of uh, kind of squishy strawberries in there. Kind of like drinking um, um, a boba drink without the boba, but it has strawberries instead of boba. That drink's okay. I like I like it. I like like I said. I like a good slushy drink. Um, I have to drink it slow because it literally will make your head explode because they're so cold. But um, it's really got really good flavors. I like the blue raspberry. It's a really strong blue raspberry flavor without being that like tart bitter kind of blue raspberry. And it's also got a really nice uh, lemonade flavor. The strawberry flavor, I really didn't get a, a lot of the flavor from that, but it, it's fine. It's it's there a little bit, but I think the other flavors just overwhelm it so much. So what I'd probably do is just either drink it in sections or just stir it all up and drink it all together. Um, so the slush is good. If you like their slushes, I think you'll like this one. I like the different flavors in there, mix uh, the different flavors that are still separate so you can get little sips of different flavors. I like that. I'm gonna give that slush flavor a four out of five. Uh, I'm gonna give the groove sauce, um, I don't know, I would give that one a four out of five as well. It's nothing really new. It's just branched with a little kick to it. So it's nothing new, but it, but it is good. It does taste good on the fries and it tastes even better with the burger. The burger, I'd probably give a four and a half out of five for. I really like the texture. I like the amount of cheese on it. It's a really good cheesy burger. Um, I like the flavors. I wish their smash sauce or smashy sauce or whatever uh, was a little stronger, but I'm sure I would miss it if it wasn't there. It just doesn't really stand out. It's like, oh, that's a good sauce. Um, but I like the onions on there. I like everything about it. It's, it's a really good burger. It's a little greasy, but beyond that, it's really, really good. So I would give it a four and a half. And um, when you dip it in that groove sauce, it's even better. So, uh, so maybe a four and uh, a half or something. So now maybe four and three quarters, <laughs> something like that. It's almost a five, but um, I like it. I definitely would try that one out. They also have a triple. So if you wanted an extra burger patty, you could get a triple if you want. That's just more than I needed. But um, yeah, overall pretty decent uh, selection. Uh, this is, like I said, they're kind of their newer kind of menu items. Um, if you're interested, go to Sonic. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.